Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will come from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 1 through 8, where it is written, After getting into a boat, he crossed the sea and came to his own town. And just then some people were carrying a paralyzed man lying on a bed. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic, Take heart, son, your sins are forgiven. And some of the scribes said to themselves, Well, this man is blaspheming. But Jesus, perceiving their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? For which is easier, to say, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Stand, stand up and walk. But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he then said to the paralytic, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. And he stood up and went to his home. When the crowd saw it, they were filled with awe, and they glorified God, who had given such authority to human beings. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. If there's one thing we all have, it's a past. No one's perfect. We're all sinners. The end. And that sin can haunt us. It can say to us, and not incorrectly, God is holy. You aren't. He hates you. He wants you to burn. And you are in trouble. God will want nothing to do with you. And it seems like, and you know, we are sinners. God is holy. We are in trouble. Until we realize we truly, I mean, God is love. How do we know this? How does God treat sinners? God became a human. God went to the cross to die for our sins to forgive us. If he was angry, if he was why wrathful, why did he come in the first place? Why did he die in the first place? And some might say, well, he only died for some people, not others. No. All people will rise again on the last day. Because when God became human, well, he does apply to all humans. Which is why in Jesus' resurrection, all people will rise again on the last day. It doesn't necessarily mean they'll all be saved, but all people will rise again. Therefore, what Jesus does applies to all humans. I don't deny we're sinners, for we are. But he says, your sins are forgiven. Blasphemy, his opponents say. How could anyone but God do this? Because he's God. He's the authority. And the forgiveness of sins and moving on from the past, it's impossible. Doing so is miraculous no more than someone who can't walk getting up and walking. Because we all know how easy our past sins and our things that make us cringe, both the embarrassments and the things that are really, how much that just holds on to us. But miracles happen every day. The miracle is, is what God from the cross forgives us. And we know we're forgiven. We live as if we're forgiven. That is a miracle as surely as a blind person can see or, or, or a deaf person can hear. We are sinners. Humanly speaking, that should haunt us for the rest of our life by the miracle of God becoming man, dying for our sins. These can be forgiven. And new life can begin for all of us where we leave these sins in the past. Now that is a miracle. As miraculous as anything you're going to see. But it happens through the love and grace of God. Thanks be to him. Let us then close with prayer. Lord, we're sinners. Help us to always be repentant and always confident, confident that you are ready, willing, and able to forgive us for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whose name I pray. Amen.